La dolce vita, la joie de vivre, pure sweet, joy of life. I'm with my 91-year-old mum. She's a real legend. You wait till you hear some of her story. Welcome to the inspiration series of Pick Me Ups. In this series, I'm going to be reading from a book my mum wrote in her 80s. In this episode, I'm going to give you background to the book, and then in subsequent episodes, I'll be reading chapter by chapter. The story starts when, unfortunately, my elderly auntie passed away, my mum's sister. And when she was at the funeral, she saw that her sister had kept all these letters that my mum had written during the 50s and 60s. They were really interesting letters. So mum called me and said, what will I do with them? Well, I just throw them out. I said, no way, bring them over. I'm going to make sure that my kids read them so they know who their grandma was. And so mum brought them all the way back. Quite interestingly, a historian at the time heard of them. And this historian had done her PhD on letters that were written in villages during the 1700s in England. And so she was quite interested to find out that there were some real life letters that my mother had written when they were missionaries out in Papua New Guinea in the island of Bougainville. So as she started to work through them, she discovered that she, there was no point in editing them. These letters were so well written, so interesting, that why not publish them as they were? So they found a publisher. And then mum said to me, look, we've got backing, we're going to publish, but we need the letters to be typed up. And I said, my daughter would love to do that. So my daughter typed these letters up from her grandma when her grandma was her age. And every day I would go swimming with my daughter and she'd be, oh, you know, you were doing this as a five-year-old. You were doing this as a six-year-old. And it was really, really interesting and a very, very interesting um, family dynamic. And as the stories unfolded, the book began to become a reality. And I was so impressed with the actual finished product. The book was launched. There were 400 people at the book launch. I played the piano, but I didn't really feel up to reading the book in its form at that time. So about a year later, I set aside a week and I said, look, I'm going to read my mum's book. I tell you, I sat out the back, I shed many a tear and I finished the book. At the end of it, I was just so proud of my mum. Really, truly amazing stories. See, in the 50s and 60s, lots were spoken about what the men folk did, but not a lot about what the ladies did. And this book is such a landmark because it isn't someone's memory. It's not someone recollecting, oh, I did this. This unfolded. So as you listen to me reading the book, each chapter is just unfolding. No one's mem remembering it. No one knows the future. And I found that so interesting that as I was reading and when mum, for example, met Dulcie for the first time, I know Dulcie now. Dulcie's 102 years old, yet first introduced in the book. And I find that so interesting. I know that these stories will live on forever. Challenging times. If ever you are feeling a little bit discouraged, a little bit challenged by life, when you listen to what my mum did, I tell you, you will rise up. It just encourages you and gives you so much inspiration. I do get a little bit emotional probably when I'm reading it because it's part of my story. But I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to select various places that we're travelling to and I'm just going to sit down and read a chapter to you. And I know you're going to find it very, very interesting. I have selected this location to give you this background because it was right here at that swing bridge behind me where my parents courted during the 50s. I know you can hear some kids jumping off the bridge and they're on rope swings in the background. But in the 50s, 
This is where my parents met. I just thought it was a wonderful place for me to come and give you some background on her book. Thank you for watching this background video. My commitment is to upload videos weekly, improving quality and content each time. How you can help is to share links to the videos, click on the subscribe button, and if you can help financially, please go over to our Patreon site where I'll explain how. La joie de vie, la dolce vita, pure sweet joy of life.